And the same person who called me out for my actions in the first place came to me in the comment section making false assumptions about my opinion on Frozen Angel when I was just minding my own business and I didn't exactly hate him. Okay, I was losing respect for him at that. For publicly doxing a special someone by the name of Aiden King, aka Rock Music Fan 2002. A few seconds later, he had exposed my comment on Twitter and I was secretly ashamed of the fact that I didn't become responsible for my own actions. However, though, I got so pissed off at him while accidentally plagiarizing Frozen Angel's comment as a response to him. And it literally took me little seconds to respond to him, and I actually did not meant to do that because of how furious I felt by his response, to the point where I then blocked him. And you want to know something? If I did that on purpose, I would have been responsible for it. I just felt like he allowed me to say whatever I wanted. The first time I thought you were playing victim, I gave it the benefit of a doubt. This time, I am assured that you played victim here. You yammer on and on about how you fought Frozen Angel allowed you to say what you wanted, which I'm pretty sure wasn't his intention. It also proves you have uncontrollable rage every now and again when you could have just went ahead and took a break. No, three hours isn't a fucking break. Oh, and smooth move of blocking him before he could even respond. Definitely not trying to damage control at all. I am convinced you knew you plagiarized, but your outburst got the better of you, making you ignore you actually did plagiarize and made you look like a total jackass. I cannot feel sympathy for you here, asshole. Also, nice fucking run-on sentence there. He is trying to intentionally piss me off in a way where I thought he wanted everyone's attention. If he was doing this to get a reaction out of me, then he could have told me not to respond to him at all. He fucking could have. But why would he even do that in the first place? He was intending to get a reaction out of you, so basically he would want you to respond anyway. And here you go, you gave it to him. Bravo. Not to mention the fact that I got falsely accused for copying one of his comments when I honest to god didn't even know where he posted it. So it's quite obvious that I did set it in my own words and I did not plagiarize it. And if I did know he posted that comment, then I would not have intentionally copy it. Could you just please stop playing the victim card? Please, damn it. Even due to the fact that I've stayed true to my own word during my apology towards Igo Media. No, you haven't. In fact, in most ways, it just kind of makes these as an fucking unbearable and downright insufferable. Seeing him actually knowing this fact that I get easily pissed off whenever someone intentionally wastes my time like that while getting unfairly badmouthed for it. Unfairly my ass. All of this bickering was sparked under your own volition and trigger happiness. Trolls are going to continue to spam your posts and keep on bringing up the times you copied others, and critics are going to expose your blatant acts of vandalism and pseudo-innocence. I hate to say this as it sounds pretty spiteful, but you deserve that bad rep you have. Alright, here's where it gets way too far. And after he had annoyed me, I have secretly told people that I feel like butchering Auto Magic Critic and his family in real life for what he did to me in the comments. After someone by the name of Fine Kirby informed everyone about this, I started losing so many friends because of it. Even though I have absolutely zero remorse for Fine Kirby, this is one of the rare occasions he actually does something right. I guess I'll give him an expired Oreo ice cream sandwich in the freezer, because it's better than what I would give him traditionally. Now granted, if I directed that threat towards Auto Magic Critic, am I supposed to say it to him in order to be directed towards him? Yes! However though, I did not actually came up to him, and said it to him in person at all, even though I did mention him. Although I still felt like an asshole sending that threat to him secretly, I did not actually said it to him. What is this, like the 4th or 5th time you used the victim card or a similar excuse? Jeesh. Whether if it was spread to many or only two people, it is still a messed up fantasy to want someone you don't like dead. Even for the people I despise, I just want them off the internet at worst. The rest of his argument is just a reprisal of some of what he said before. Which wouldn't be a problem if he worded himself differently, so I'll be skipping to the next one. Now, let's move on to another stupid reason as to why I've lost so many friends recently, when many people thought that I have stole footage without giving credit on my recent video. If y'all didn't know what happened that time, I was just simply experiencing my first attempt at making a compilation meme. Apparently, I recently found out it's a dead meme on YouTube that everyone has been doing and was supposed to be a joke. When a friend of mine at school showed me one of these videos, which gave me the idea to have an attempt at making one. You heard that right, fellas. He made a meme compilation out of five dumb memes. It's as sterile and unfunny as you think it sounds. To get the gist of these, if you've seen those Nutshack memes from last year, you'll know how they are structured. Oh, and about that friend you mentioned. Is that the same one who made your intro? If he or she is, then I would not see them in a positive light. For all we know, he might be a big fan of behind the meme. Ew. That thought alone makes me feel... Um... 
loss of some control. Oh, and just because it's a joke doesn't mean I can't call those memes pandering or talentless, which they definitely are. In the description of the video, it shows evidence I have asked permission to the original owners of the footage I used that were never been used in the other How It Feels to Chew 5 gum memes too. And then fine Kirby came up to me saying that I plagiarized and thought this was an excuse I made up, when it was obvious that I borrowed the footage and not stole it, to the point where it got me so furious that I immediately blocked him. There is clearly a difference between borrowing and stealing, which proves that I'm getting fucked around with for nothing. Even though asking permission is what many people do before making videos with copyrighted content, and that is the whole point. And also, I would fucking admit that I stole it if I did so! Because otherwise, it would have not been my fault! More excuses, more excuses. To verify that Farhan's claims of getting permission were most likely untrue, he doesn't even credit the original owners of the content in the description, which is something many people who do make these compilations do. Whether they had permission or not, place it at the end of the compilation or in the description. All you say is that they belong to their respective owners, which isn't enough. I mean, look at my videos, they have actual credits on them. And if you did actually go ahead and get permission for the clips, why didn't you make that aspect much more public? which would give you some more believability. Also, who the fuck wants to admit they stole content? That confession could be summed up as, I don't have any original bone in my body, so I'm guilty. Only the stupidest of suspects would do such a thing. Unless maybe they were honest, which in itself is a rarity. Even when I did show them evidence, I have been accused of playing the victim card just to get away with it. When if I got criticized for something I have done wrong, I would take the advice with a pinch of salt and move on. But no, my Gurmy had to just make false assumptions about it even though I backed up my evidence. <sighs> Uh, dude, you are aware your evidence can be proven wrong and might be fake for all we know. There are definitely going to be those outcasts who would doubt every word you spew out, but I don't want to be like that here. Your poor way of organizing is why people thought you didn't ask permission or lack the decency to give them credit, or in general that you weren't telling the truth. That reminds me, how does one get permission for those exactly? Did you ask for the right to use it by the owners of the clips, or the ones responsible in editing those five gum memes? The latter option doesn't make any kind of sense because they themselves likely didn't ask for the right to use the clips either. Vagueness is a tricky obstacle. And last but not least, recently, when I have been accused of copying people in regards to my review and rant on the Emoji Movie, I have tried my absolute best in expressing my own, while popular, opinion on an animated film. I personally consider it the worst, in one of the most accurate and detailed ways possible. Detailed, yes. Accurate, eh, not so much. Or probably, because of my Happy Tree Friends rant where I copied Yoshi Player a while back then, and we all know that happened. We all know this because we can't seem to forget about it. Because no one will ever remind us that this ever happened. I brushed on this earlier on, but your noticeable lack of proofreading is very negatively reflecting on you in this segment. You made a ton of arguments which turned invalid either due to a bad choice of wording or inconsistencies like this. Now to the point you meant to bring up, maybe those people are those who didn't forget about your half ass rant on Happy Tree Friends who aren't afraid to mention stuff from your earlier days. Remember, what you did on the internet years ago could say a lot about you. Applying this to myself, I really got all fired up when people talked badly about my prize Nintendo games, and I was very public about that too. Look on my own account's dislike video playlist and you can see the salt I had. Oof, fucking bad time to have. Oh! Alright, Farhan. Calm yourself. Whew, that's a relief. I can finally cut off this abrasive music. So yeah, now you know the truth about what happened during this incident that has been going on for the past seven months. Truth that I barely believe the lick of. And it doesn't mean it's not true, but it most likely isn't completely true. And I hope to God that after this and the two other journals I linked here, this drama ends with a bang. And speaking of those two journals, I highly suggest you check them out. I already linked them here, by the way. No, thank you, Farhan. I would rather not make another video on you. Also, I'd pretty much bring up the exact same arguments as this one, so I'd be repeating myself a little too much. I'm sorry, guys, for now. I think I might as well take another break for a few hours. I'm being dead serious. I don't really think those breaks have been working out for you because you've still been bitter over this nonsense. Probably a longer duration would help. But overall, I fucking love this incident so much to the point where I had to make an extreme rant on it. And here it is, as it is unnecessarily oversaying its welcome. Believe me. So thank you guys for listening. Take care and have a wonderful day everyone. Hashtag stop the drama! Suffice to say, you didn't exactly stop the drama. Heck, you pretty much made it grow some more. Okay.
So that's that chore of response done with. Not going to lie, I was expecting this to be more tedious than I expected, but I did have a fair share of annoyances within the recording process, so I think it turned out better than expected. On the whole, your rage-induced rant was filled with a gallery full of problems surrounding your arguments, how you presented your rant, and a lack of care put into the grammar department. You often tried to find a way to dodge the criticisms and suspicion, and you lied about your second disclaimer of not bringing up the victim card or excuses bordering next to it. But lucky for you, Farhan, this is going to be the last ever video I do on you. Even if you do manage to outdo yourself, I will refuse to make a response to it. If you take this into consideration, I'll give you a smidge more of a chance to rectify your mistakes. However, if your future rants are still influenced heavily by your emotions, I will have called it off with you. By that point, you are not worth my time, or anyone else's time for that matter. Thank you to the viewers who were able to stomach this 20 plus minute charade. It's like likely won't make a video this long for a decent amount of time. Definitely proves that parts of my following have a good enough attention span. For the next project, expect it to be different as I'm planning on doing a DeviantArt special where I review various DA accounts I've discovered, both good and bad. Even with my qualms with the DeviantArt ranting community, they can be done right and carefully. No additional info will be spoiled besides the fact I am NOT taking requests for it. This would likely be a one or two time thing and I want to focus on people I found on my own. Anyways, I really hope you liked the commentary. This is Bracken Neutron signing out. Oh, and happy Thanksgiving everyone. Reading? More like stopping. I just wish I could cancel it. Well, I hope it gets canceled forever.